Who are we? And why are we here? These are some of the biggest questions that philosophers and religious people have been engaging with for many generations. And they're also the questions we're going to be engaging with today in this video. This video is a follow-up to my previous video announcing my Utopia course. So this is the first video in that course. Um, there will be a playlist with other videos soon to come. And in this course, we'll be engaging with the question of what is Utopia and really allowing ourselves to be creating what that means for us and building some common shared understandings of that. So if that interests you, stick around. In this video, we're going to be really engaging with the question of how can we build a common sense of shared identity and purpose as we're building a utopia? As I spoke about in the last video, utopia is always defined by the people who envision it. So a utopia can be pretty much anything. And really what it means is, what do we value? Because what we value is what informs utopia. So let's start with the question, who are we? And when we're engaging with that question, what we're engaging with is what are our identities and what stories do we tell that define our identities? So one thing a lot of us might be familiar with in this discussion of identities and building a sense of shared understanding of who we are is the icebreaker. The icebreaker is a question that often is used to sort of break the ice in a social situation where people don't all know each other. And so there's this icebreaker, this question, which aims to open up the floodgates of conversation. It's as if there's this sort of icicle and there's a little bit of stuff out on the top of the water, on the surface, and by breaking the ice, we're going deeper, we're going below the surface, and we're going to be able to connect more deeply in that way. Um, now, the thing about icebreakers is, I don't know about you, for me, they've always felt a little forced, a little bit stilted in the sense that it's like one person deciding what the icebreaker is going to be, and then we don't build on that. We don't continue to make connections. It's like we do the icebreaker and then we sort of put that aside and move on to whatever else is going on. And we don't really have that opportunity to continue building connections and conversation. So I think maybe some icebreakers would be important, but that there needs to be an expected level of deeper engagement and like recurring conversation and not just the one thing. Now, something else that often gets brought up when we're thinking about meeting new people and getting to know them is identity. A lot of us carry many types of identity through our lives, and identity also shifts and changes over time. Identity are these words that alert us that we're part of a group of people who share some common characteristic. So I might say, I'm white, or I'm a sports fan, or I like to read. These might be different things I might say are part of my identity. Um, but often when we say that something is a part of our identity, there's a lot that's left unsaid, right? So we might say, say I'm a reader, I read books. Um, but even reading books is not commonly understood when I say I'm a reader, right? You could, you could say, oh, you're a reader, you read uh post on social media you read articles or you might say you read magazines you read the newspaper right reading reading doesn't differ what genre do you read right like what types of it's just it's the same thing as utopia right i could say like well i'm a utopian what does that mean you don't really know because this identity is really just again that surface above the ice that has yet to be broken and so when we're talking about icebreakers, we're talking about identity. What we're really talking about is integration through storytelling. So really getting at who are we is a collection of stories that we tell and that the goal of an icebreaker and of sharing about our identities is in being able to share the details and the stories of, of our history and what these things mean for us and sort of where we come from and 
indeed why we're here. So when it comes to identity, some icebreaker-like questions that are really aimed at getting deeper that I might sort of ask are, what important identities do you hold and why? What do those things mean to you? Because for someone else, they might mean something totally different. What do your identities mean for you? And how did you come to understand yourself in that way? Similarly, with this course, I might ask, what does utopia mean to you, right? What, what understandings are you coming in with about this concept that are going to inform how you're going to show up in this course? And how did you develop this understanding of utopia? Was it through media? Was it through stories? Was it through hearing other people talk about it? And what are your hopes for engaging with this concept of utopia? Right? So maybe you're just watching this video. You don't really have any types of hopes. You're just like, what is this person talking about? Let me take a look. Um, so, what, so what I am talking about is the ability to envision some changed world. Right? What is exciting to you about that? Really engage with that. Um, that's what I'm asking, is to really engage with um, the world being different. And so when it comes to who are we and why are we here, this, there's this real question of what, what does utopia mean? What does it mean for the world to be better? How is that informed by our own prior experiences? Hey there, um, my name's Renya. Um, I'm a therapist and based in Pennsylvania, probably not your therapist. Um, if you would like to explore me possibly being your therapist and you live in Pennsylvania, you're welcome to reach out via the links in my profile somewhere. You can find them, I'm sure. Um, this course I developed, I was thinking of having uh, like a discussion group attached to it. Um, but that said, for this initial time that I announced it, there hasn't been that type of interest. So what I've decided to do is to sort of go through the weekly course and make videos about that. So you're very welcome to follow along and participate on YouTube. Um, yeah, and it'll be sort of like good for me to go through this process. Um, even though the, there isn't a discussion group this time, I think at some point in the future there will be. And so if somewhere along this process you would like a discussion group and to go through this like with myself with other people um please let me know in the comments or by sending me emails um because that'll help me to know people are interested in getting started with this um yeah i don't know when but i think when the time is right this will happen so what does it mean to set intentions with a group where we're building some sense of shared community shared identity together how do we do that? Well, so in my in my individual um, practice, um, I'll go through with folks and we'll set our intentions for what we're doing together. So like, why are they there? What are they wanting support around? And how are we building shared understanding of what that support is going to look like? And then how are we knowing when, like, what we're setting out to do is indeed happening? So I would think of that as something along these same lines of, collaboratively with, if this is a discussion group, collaboratively with everyone in the group, we're building a sense of shared understanding of what are we here to do in this group. And so I've thought about that to a certain degree of, you know, what uh, week to week, what that's going to look like and how we're going to go through that process. But I think there's a lot that's left um, open for interpretation and open for us to build together. And so in this process, we would look at I think in particular the time, because this is a time limited group, um, looking at what are we doing together with our time and how can we make the most of our limited time together and how are we building up towards this idea of like putting utopia together, sort of like if we have this idea of somewhere in mind we would like to go, then we're sort of thinking of what are the steps along the way and what supports are we going to need to take those steps. Right. And I think this is very different from other forms of building community where maybe there's a shared endeavor that people come together and work on, but there isn't really time limits to that. And 
there also might not be like such an intentional process of sitting down and talking about what we're doing. Like there might just be people coming together and doing something and then there isn't really that level of conversation. And so things might happen more organically. We might, you know, start to have conversations. We might build relationships with people. We might get to know them individually more. And then that sort of facilitates our further involvement in that group. And, you know, different people will, maybe certain people will take more ownership over looking at what are the goals of this group or this shared endeavor and, you know, how that plays out. Whereas what I'm describing this uh, discussion group around Utopia, I think would be very, very, very focused and also very egalitarian in theory. I think because the goal is for it to look this way, um, there does need to be a level of discussion about it where maybe something more organic, if we have no specific idea of mind of what we want that to look like, then there's more fluidity and we can sort of just let things be. So in terms of YouTube, what I would ask is maybe some level of engagement with, with these um, in the form of just paying a certain amount of attention. Um, and so that doesn't mean undivided attention, right? That's not, it doesn't have to be totally undivided attention. I know many of us have diff different things going on in our lives, but I think like what I'm sort of making and building in these videos is something that you can really engage with and uh, engage with yourself through engagement with these videos. So, you know, I think you can decide for yourself as, if that's a good use of your time, but I really think it is. So that's why I'm doing it. Um, and what I would ask is for you to actively engage in the comment section by sharing, you know, your own engagement with the process I'm outlining in these videos. Um, especially if you don't usually leave comments on YouTube videos, engaging in comments by responding to other people's stuff, by like sharing about, you know, your connection with um, Utopia and being willing to be changed in the process of watching these videos. I know, big ask for like content online, um, but give it a shot, you know, you don't, what have you got to lose? So this is sort of just setting the stage, right, of like what's to come. But if we're looking at it, the next video that's going to come out is dystopia, right? So starting with dystopia in terms of a future engagement with utopia. So we're going to be looking at how the world is reflective of dystopia, why dystopian storytelling has become so prominent in our society, like the meaning of that, our society's connection with dystopia, um, engaging with media analysis of dystopias that we're familiar with. So as a few examples, things like a Black Mirror, things like a Squid Game, things like a 1984. These are like really common cultural touch points of dystopia. And I think in the next video, we're going to be talking about why, why dystopian stories are so prevalent and how they've impacted us. So next time. Think about it, dystopia in media that you've consumed and bring in these thoughts, these reflections, and there will be some engagement questions and some ways of engaging with that um, in the next video. So come back, watch out for that one. In terms of this video, let's come back to these earlier icebreaker engagement questions I asked, um, and I'll ask if you would like to share about those things. Just to sort of share who are you and why are you here on this video? What brought you here? Um, so some of those questions I asked earlier are just about, you know, what are important identities in your life and what do those mean for you? And then what does utopia mean for you? And, you know, what are your hopes with engaging deeper with this concept of utopia? So let me know your thoughts down in the comments. And as I said, we're going to be engaging next time with dystopia. So bring something for that, some form of media that you connect with around dystopia. Uh, and last but not least, just a special shout out to my patrons who help make these videos possible. Thanks y'all. See you next time.